I thought this would have been a good look. It doesn't look good at all. I just need to face the facts that I will never be Ibuki Miyoda. Does it look cute? No. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mama Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel, motherfucker. Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the last part of the Danganronpa 2 cafe video. Now enough of me talking, let's start. You know, I love Peko Peko, but I feel like I just look like a granny in this. I don't know how I feel. Ooh. But Peko Peko cute as fuck though. Let's give it up to our ultimate swordsman, Peko Peko Yama. And for her drink, we are giving her a charcoal milk tea. The ingredients you will need for Peko's drink is Earl Grey or any black tea, activated food grade charcoal, or now, like I said, if you have medication for you to be safe, BB, don't use it, strawberry syrup, milk, lactate, or whatever you use, agar agar, or you can smuggle some red jellies from your local boba shop, vanilla syrup, whipped cream, yes, I'm lactose, but I choose to still victimize my myself by consuming whipped cream. And now let's get to it. Bring your chilled, cooled Earl Grey tea. Add one to two tablespoons of vanilla syrup. I usually try to make it like one cup, so half a cup of Earl Grey tea, and then add half a cup of your milk of your choosing. And now let's get to the jellies. Again, I will have the video in the description of what I use every time to make agar agar. Same what I did for Sonia Nevermind's jellies. And this time I added strawberry syrup for it to be red like Peko's eyeballs for Mama's piercing red eyes. And after they finish jelly sizing, solidifying, slice them up. You can make them smaller, but I was too too lazy honestly because it's usually 4 a.m. when I film these. Put your jellies in a glass, grab your milk tea mixture, and just put a little bit, just a little sprinkle of your food grade black charcoal. Like I said, this is only for aesthetic purposes. I only wanted to make it gray. Put some ice in your cup and pour in your milk tea. And I had this freaking big black reusable straw and I was like, perfect! Perfect for Pekoyama's sword. And boom, Peko Peko's gray milk tea is done. And next for probably the biggest pain in the ass. And I mean like food-wise character, maybe? <laughs> Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu, baby gangster. For our ultimate Yakuza, we are gonna make his favorite food, fried dough cookies. The ingredients you will need are milk, chocolate syrup, oil, sugar, salt, baking powder, powdered sugar, all-purpose flour, and some cookie dough. Here's the steps. We are using pre-made cookie dough, but feel free to make your own. Step one, roll your cookie dough into little balls and place them on a cookie sheet. Step two, lay some plastic wrap on top and let them sit in the freezer for 30 minutes. And step three, all the other crap is for the frying batter. Now, to make the frying batter, you will need one and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one quarter cup of sugar, one cup and two teaspoons of milk, and one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Step four, mix all that up until there's no more lumps. Step five, put some oil into a pan and put the stove on low heat. This is literally advanced. I almost burned my house at 4 a.m. trying to do this. I'm not even playing with you. This was not fun. But this is hard, like, warning. Unless you're, like, a chef, this might not be as hard for you. So what I did first is I got, like, a bamboo skewer, and I stuck them in the cookie dough balls, and then I twirled them in the frying mix until they were covered. But this is where I freaked up, and as you see by the footage, as soon as I put them in the fryer, the batter immediately, like, wrapped off. So I was trying to figure out what to do, and I was like, fuck, like, what do I, how do I do this? So what I found out that ended up working was using a pair of tongs and holding the balls in place for like, eh, five, ten seconds. As soon as you hold it in there a little bit, as soon as you let it go, it'll be fine. But if you hold the tongs too long, then it'll start cooking, frying on the tongs. So be careful. I had to freaking experiment with this a lot. Parent supervision or adult supervision or a better adult supervision if you're an adult and you don't know shit like me. But yeah, use tongs, put them in the batter, hold them for a couple seconds, and then let them go. And you want to fry them until they are a nice golden brown. And then put them aside to dry. But like I said, this shit was hard. Literally, the smoke was coming and then the fire alarm went on at 4 a.m. And everyone in my house was like, what the fuck are you doing? Making fried cookie dough. <laughs> it was a nightmare. I do not recommend the mamas. Don't let them recommend it. Don't do this. And I'm not even shitting you after all of those cookies. 
Only three of them survived. These three were the only survivors! Oh man, I suck. Step six, sprinkle some powdered sugar and drizzle some chocolate syrup on top and voila! Fuyuhiko's fried dough cookies are done. These fried dough cookies look friggin' fantastic, by the way. Dang it, I want some. And next we got Akane Owari, our ultimate gymnast, and we make it a fucking strawberry Coca-Cola icy. What you will need, a shit ton of ice, Coke syrup and strawberry syrup, and white and red fondant to make this cute little steak thingy. I tried my best. I don't know if it looks good. I did my best, y'all. And the steps are simple. Get your glass, fill it halfway up with very, very crushed, very, very fine ice so it could be an icy. If you have an icy machine, you go Blake Coco. And drown it in strawberry syrup, cause that's all ices are. Ice and syrup! Fill the rest of the cup up with very finely chopped ice, and then drown it again in Coca-Cola syrup. Place your fondant on top, and boom, Akane Strawberry Coca-Cola Icy is boom. Very quick, very easy, and very delicious. And next to complete the duo, we got Nekomaru Nidai, our ultimate team manager. And for his drink, you will need blue curacao syrup, tonic or carbonated water, and Coca-Cola soda. And his is very simple and similar to Akane's. Get about one to two tablespoons of blue curacao syrup. Fill up your cup, but not completely with ice just yet. And then add your tonic water. Fill the rest of your cup with ice and then finish it off with some Coca-Cola soda. And boom, Nekomaru's drink is done. This one, is, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty good actually. And for our forbidden one, another best boy. We love him. We appreciate him. Gundam Tanaka our ultimate breeder. So we are gonna make a simple delicious blackberry drink. The ingredients you will need are blackberry syrup, black tea, mint, blackberries, and a lemon. First you want to get a cup and make your tea as usual. Leave it to cool down. One cup of cooled black tea, one to two tablespoons of blackberry syrup. Add a squeeze of lemon if you want. Mix it all up, pour it in the glass, and then pile on some blackberries on top. And they're pretty, and they're cute and little, just like his little hamsters. Put some mint on his garnish and boom. A beautiful classic blackberry tea for our best boy. Okay, we're gonna cut it here. So TBH, I wasn't that happy with Gundam Tanaka's drink because I wanted something that suited our best boy more. So here we are with a new Gundam Tanaka drink, enjoy. For this drink item, you will need vanilla syrup, black sugar, pomegranate juice or tea or any berry juice will do, an assortment of fruit, such as raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries, more blackberries because this will be a primarily blackberry drink, and I really wanted to use a raspberry sour belt for Tanaka's scarf, but I could not find it for the life of me, which is why it took so long for me to get this video because I spent days. So I had to settle for a burgundy fondant. Pleh. And last but not least, cream puffs. First thing you want to do is put all your fruit in a blender. I just did equal parts of each fruit with a little more blackberries at the end. Blend it all up. And this part is optional. You don't have to do it for a little extra flavor. I put in some blackberry syrup. Then blend it all up one last time. And now it's time for some rim and you want to get your glass, coat the rim in your vanilla syrup, and then black sugar. Pour your mixture into the glass, but make sure you leave a little space and then top it off with some more blackberries. Next, what you want to do is take out your cream puffs. What I did was I made these cute little friggin' hamsters. So what I did is I took a picture of Gundam Tanaka and I friggin' photoshopped these guys out, put them on a transparent background, printed it up, cut them out, and taped them onto toothpicks, and boom, you got these adorable Friggin' toppers, perfect for Gundam Tanaka. You wanna get a bowl or a plate, get your cream puffs, get these little guys and stick them into your cream puffs. And next and last step, you wanna get your fondant or your raspberry sour belts if you were able to find them, cause I was not. Get your fondant, roll it, stretch it, flatten it, flip it, whatever you gotta do to make Gundam Tanaka's scarf. And for me, because the glass was cold, it kind of already kind of stuck to the glass, so I didn't really need to do anything. And all I did was I just freaking put the freaking fondant over the cup just squished it together and then I just took the two ends and I just grabbed a pair of scissors, just started cutting them, and then boom, you got Gundam Tanaka's blackberry smoothie of darkness with a side of squishy, puffy cream puffs. Even though the blackberry tea was delicious, I think this one suits Gundam a little bit more. But yeah, that's it. And I just want to give a huge thank you to my friend and fellow YouTuber Jojo Talks Too Much. I will make sure to leave a link to his channel in the description so you guys can check him out. And remember to subscribe. Again, thank you all so much for waiting. I know y'all have been waiting way too long for this video. I hope it was worth it. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Cool.